ago was a lesson that everyone should learn from, a lesson that is still very appropriate and applicable today. People came to Big Island. They did not include the community in the choice of the site. They went to the caldera, the most sacred place. And when they got kicked out of there, they went to the sacred forest. They didn't acknowledge culture. They didn't acknowledge right to worship God. When Auntie Emily went to pick flowers in the forest, she was arrested. They criminalized the right to gather. They didn't provide any kind of access. Uh, they brought in cheap, filthy technology that was toxic. And during the exploration stage, because they did not test the resource and match it to the technology, they made a deal in the boardroom bringing this technology. You do not develop in that way. You do not choose your technology until you have tested your resource. You cannot second guess Kanalua in the ocean. Kanalua you cannot. And you cannot second guess Pele on the land. It is best to go there and see how she is and then see you match the technology. There wasn't any benefit for those who owned geothermal, the public and the native, not a single thing. And there was no vision for our future, for our people's future, for our public future, for our state's energy security. You gonna do development like this, the native people will prevent it. If this approach is taken again, the same will happen. I for one. I for one, live in a big island. I live in Kona. We're not going to allow cheap and filthy technology. We're not going to allow people to come and develop our resources and not share with the native and the public. So this is the past. Let's turn the page on it. Let's look at how we can address it. And you know, the thing is, is that we are the most energy insecure state in the union. We are the most food insecure state in the union. And we are the minor canary for the Western Hemisphere. It will hit us first. But we have great, great bounty and blessing. We have so much renewable energy resources here that we can let go of fossil fuel. 